shine, sleet or snow. The occupiers are still here. It's day five of Occupy Los Angeles and you're watching Inside Out News. The system's broke and we're saying, hey guys, the system's broke. We're out here on the lawn doing our thing, but we're really not just out here on the lawn here. We're in Seattle, we're in 147 cities. We're in Toronto, we're in Europe, we're all over this world now. Greece is rioting today. Greece in the streets because of their economic issues that our banks caused. So that's why we're here and I actually kind of get the, the idea that you guys are going to actually let us take her. And for that I thank you. It was a rainy day today in Los Angeles, but that did not deter the protesters. Yesterday I reported that there were 55 tents here. Today I spoke to one of the organizers who told me that there are now 71 tents. That is over 15 new tents in just one day. The, it seems like it doesn't matter if it's pouring or if it's hot. The protesters are coming here. They are, they are upset and they are making their, their voices heard. Today was the city council meeting. About 20 protesters attended the meeting. The city council p proposed a resolution, a three-page resolution that, that basically outlined the, the, the economic crisis that, that, it, that is happening in the nation, how it is affecting the state of California. The, the, the resolution ultimately resolved to support the protesters. Just, just a few highlights uh, that were noted in the, in the resolution. It said that there are one in five foreclosures in the United States are happening here in the state of California. Uh, they also noted that in 2008 there were 1.2 million foreclosures in the state of California alone and that it was projected that by 2012 there would be at least 2 million foreclosures. I wanted to read the closing paragraph of the resolution to you so you get an idea of where the uh, city council is coming from. Now therefore be it resolved with the occurrence with the concurrence of the mayor that by the adoption of this resolution, the city of Los Angeles hereby stands in support for the continuation of the peaceful and vibrant exercise in First Amendment rights carried out by Occupy Los Angeles on the City Hall lawn and urges the city departments responsible for completing the implementation plan associated with the responsible banking measure CF09-0234 that was approved by the City Council on October 5th, 2011 which would address some of the concerns of the Occupy Los Angeles demonstrators by demanding accountability and results from the banks we invest taxpayer dollars in to bring the responsible banking measure to for a final vote to the council by October 28, 2011. Let's cut to uh, a few clips from the city council today. You can get, it, get an idea of what kind of support the protesters have from the city. I was very impressed with the legitimacy to your concerns and your issues. Uh, also, the way you presented yourselves. We've had other folks come in and present themselves in a very disorderly fashion, so I want to compliment you on that. You were here for a legitimate reason. I signed on Mr. Alarcon and all of many of my colleagues to support the goal of what you're trying to achieve. Uh, we understand the issues, we understand the concerns, and this is not just a Los Angeles situation. This is a national, if not worldwide. I have many folks in my district that represent the South Coast Valley where there's now fences around their homes because the banks have taken those homes back. They've been kicked out. For what you're doing as an immigrant to our county came to this country for the American dream, it's dissolving. And you're making that very clear by standing up and saying we want the American dream to stay alive for everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Out of spring, you're seeing a, an American autumn. Uh, and it's connecting all over America and frankly all over the world. Uh, the priorities must change. Uh, and if Washington can appreciate that, they'll withdraw the troops from these crazy wars. Uh, they will make the rich pay their fair share and reinvest in education, health care, infrastructure, and the American people. So thank you for making this possible. There's some interesting media related news to note today. Today was the first time that the occupiers here in Los Angeles were able to secure a live report. The live report was done 
with Fox 11 News. That, that's the local Fox station here in Los Angeles. They interviewed one of the organizers uh, this afternoon, and we've got, a, we've got a clip from that, so let's play that right now for you. Everybody's been saying from a city standpoint here why they, they kind of like what you're doing, if you will. You're doing it peacefully, not the violence, as one councilman said, like we're seeing in Greece. Exactly. Well, you know what? It's because we're all in this together. We are one family. We're one human family. We all have the same issues right now. We have the same concerns, so we just need to work together. And a new Rasmussen poll out saying 79% of Americans agree with the thought that big banks got a bailout from the government. Middle America isn't getting a bailout. 79%, so that's a new poll, and that's with some high numbers. It's a high number, and you know what? The latest report today is we have 147 cities just like this doing this in the I United saw that, States. yes. Yeah, so L.A., New York, and a lot of them right oh, across from coast to coast. And five European cities. And so it's growing, obviously, to say that. This is not just a national problem. This is an international all right, problem. Lisa. A lot of people want to know whether or not the protesters can ma maintain their numbers over a long period of time. I had the opportunity to ask some of the protesters and an organizer what they think needs to be done to maintain the people and to increase their numbers. Here's what some people had to say. Well, I'm noticing on the news is one thing, media is huge, the media attention, that's how I found out about it. And um, just talking about it, talking about the truth, what's really going on, what are people really experiencing, and pressuring politicians and the government to come clean and, and, and want to make the changes and make it happen actually. Uh, first of all here in Los Angeles we need to make it a bilingual movement because a majority of the working class people here in Los Angeles are first language Spanish. I think that a lot of the uh, English only stuff is kind of keeping a lot of the workers away. Uh, we need to kind of bring the message down to something that will resonate with the 99 percent in that a lot of these ideas that lots of people have are very slim, uh, narrow ideals, like the whole anarchist movement, things of that nature. Uh, if we just stick to the fact that the income disparity in this country in the past 30 years has benefited the wealthiest portion of the country, they, they've uh, increased, I believe, 261 percent, while the rest of us are stuck with 10 to 25 percent increases in wages and things of that nature. Websites that you can go to, I would suggest the one that's run by Van Jones is a primary one that will lead you to many others. Okay, and what do you think needs to be done to bring more people out to the protests? I think the more coverage that they have in the media, the more people are aware of what's going on, and they'll want to become a part of it and get out here. What, what are they going to do to bring more people out from the working class, the working middle class? class? Well, our, myself personally and other people that I know here, we're physically going down, like farther down into downtown and actually talking to the working class people. Like we get people here coming and going to work all the time, but we're trying to, you know, just enforce it within the whole city. Um, as well, they're trying to go, you know, send people to Venice, you know, to different parts of the city and, you know, tell them, tell them, tell them what's going on here and talk to them about how they feel exactly, you know, what's going on. That's, that's about it. And how do you think you can sustain uh, the numbers of people here? Um, sustain them as of now? Uh, basically, it's, it's staying strong. We're going strong. I mean, like, we didn't get pushed away because of the rain. The way we're going to sustain numbers is by physically talking to people and getting at their at their moral bone and and you know talking to them about what's going on and making them feel that they are the working class people of america that are getting screwed over because it is what it is you know quick update on what's going on across the nation yesterday was the first day of occupy baltimore they are currently occupying mckeldron fountain park in baltimore maryland uh, according to my contact there they have occupied about 75 percent of the park Today in New York City on Wall Street, there were, it's being reported that there were 50,000 protesters. 50,000 protesters. The occupation of Wall Street began with only 100 people. Only 100 people tenting out on the first day. And now there are 50,000 people protesting. It, it, it seems very clear that at least in Wall Street, there, there is no sign of ending. There is, there, there is no sign of dwindling numbers. The numbers only keep increasing as more and more organization, organizations come in solidarity with the protesters. 
we'll see if that will happen here in Los Angeles. Tomorrow there's going to be a major protest. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what time it is, uh, but you can you can find out by going to OccupyLosAngeles.org and clicking on their events tab. They have a calendar there that they update day to day, and you can find out what time that rally is going to be tomorrow. I understand it's going to be quite big, so we will be here to cover that rally as well. Friday, there will also be a protest at the Westwood Federal Building. That's being held by Answer LA. They are protesting the 10th anniversary of the Afghanistan war. We will hopefully be there on Friday to cover some of that and bring you some clips uh, in our report. And this about sums up our broadcast for today. We will be here tomorrow uh, reporting again on the events. We will be covering the protest tomorrow. This is Margot Pias signing off for Inside Out News. Good night, and I will see you tomorrow.